It's showtime. Hey, welcome to you. Did you watch Survivor last night? This is the only Survivor podcast. This is the only fun Survivor podcast. Oh, boy. Oh, no. What if Jeff Probst came after me for saying the only Survivor podcast? Because, you know, he has his own now. My name is Jake Scheidel. Each week I ask my best friend, Thomas Powell, if he did indeed watch a certain reality show. Hey, Thomas, do you think Jeff Probst is going to come after me for accidentally saying this is the only Survivor podcast? <laughs> Jeff is, uh, I, who knows what Jeff is capable of. I don't know that you want to, that you want to poke that bear. I don't want to You don't want to be the Dylan it. Brooks to Jeff's LeBron James. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to do 40 Redemption Islands on me. Yeah, after you punch him in the balls. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Uh, is that what happened to LeBron James and our friend Dylan Brooks? Yeah, Dylan Brooks, uh... Under the, like, very fake pretense of trying to seal the ball, just, like, backhand sack tapped him mm. and got ejected because uh, that's what happens when you do that. And uh, there was one point when I was in New York where we were leaving a restaurant where I had just New had York. an incredible meal. <laughs> Start spreading the news. Uh, but the... Uh, we, we were leaving after a particularly, probably the best meal that I had while I was there, no big deal, but um, we were leaving the restaurant and there was a TV that had ESPN on and there was, it just said breaking news in big letters. And this had happened, I think, like two days before. It was just breaking news and it was LeBron James getting hit in the balls in slow motion <laughs> and it was muted. I'm sure they were saying something over it, but it, I just, all I could think of was what it would be like if you didn't know any, like if you don't follow basketball and you don't really, you know, you're just there and you're leaving and you look up and all you see is breaking news and it's a guy uh, getting hit in the nuts like uh, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. Yeah, I heard Dylan Brooks was going for the ball. But the question is, <laughs> which one? Oh, there you go. He's right. going for more. He was going for both of them. The both both of the testicles or both That's of the right. basketballs? Yeah, both what about, of the Okay. People complain all about how basketball is so shitty now, whatever. Okay, what if we do two basketballs at once now? Fix the problem. I don't think that many people are complaining about how basketball is so shitty now, but okay. Two basketballs at once, why not? Yeah, why not? Who cares? It's a fucking game. Let's make it fun. <laughs> that would like be the press Brooks. conference that Adam Silver would give when they introduce <laughs> it. Just like, yeah, so what? Who cares? <laughs> whatever. We're doing it. And they'd be like, Adam Silver, this is a bad idea. And they'd be like, they don't, they don't call me Adam Gold Everyone's for talking a reason. about how shitty basketball is now, so I guess this is what we have to do. I hope you're happy. If you don't like it, we're going to add another one. Three balls. <laughs> yeah. You better three like balls, this one, or it's just going to be three. Two hoops. Three balls, three teams, two hoops. Now that's I, will turn three. This car, I will turn this league around, okay? <laughs> if you don't stop complaining about the basketball. Yeah. One basketball, ooh, okay, here's the, here's the play. Two orange basketballs, one gold basketball, and it's made of real gold, but it's worth ten times as many points. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of hard to bounce or shoot, so. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe you should work on your passing game and your layups. It really yeah, encourages- get good scrub. It's a classic, um, you know, retort to, well, to this sort of thing. Look, the game has been around for decades, and it's getting kind of stale. I'm just throwing everything out and seeing what yeah, sticks. Yeah, can we get some fire tokens in the NBA? <laughs> Why aren't there more advantages? <laughs> well, I'm taking a survivor approach to the NBA, and I would think Adam Silver, Adam Silver, should do the same thing. Thomas, did you watch Survivor 44 last night? I did watch Survivor 44. 44 top players of Adam Survivor's NBA. Let's go. 44. Um, LaMelo Ball. Okay. 43. And we are going to have to go through all 44, so hurry up. We're going to have to go through all 44. Oh, boy. Yeah. This is going to be Tom named 44 NBA players challenge. Uh, 44, <laughs> I will say. Well, it's 43 now. Oh, you're right. 43. Excuse Let's make me. this a little more fun. Let's get one person <laughs> to represent every season of Survivor from the NBA. Obviously, Scott Pollard will do season 32. Cliff Robinson will do season 28, I think. Okay. Um, the other NBA players, they can do whatever seasons they want. 
I so, th- I have no idea where to go with this. Mm. I'll, I'll give you a week. I expect you to come back with your answers next week. Okay. Are we doing the rest of the top 44 NBA players? No, you can work on that over the week. Because okay. I'm glad that you gave me an extension on that one. That was very nice of you. I want to. I really want to see what you can come up with. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> like, who's the Michael Gabler of the NBA? It's a good question. Who is the Mike? Who is the Mike Michael Gabler of? Uh, of the NBA be a recent winner who maybe people don't like that much actually. (laughs) So I don't know. Um, Man, what a good question. I'll say uh, Jordan Poole. Okay, sure. Uh, This week's episode of Adam Survivor was called under the wing of a dragon. Pretty decent episode title for what ultimately was not. What's the opposite of epic? The opposite? Yeah, what's the opposite of epic? (laughs) Hey, bro, what's the opposite of epic? I think epic implies that it's like sprawling and like big. So I guess like. uh, What would be a good word for that? Discreet. This was a discreet, yeah, understated episode. Tasteful episode of Survivor. Understated the wing of a dragon. The minimalist episode of Survivor. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Then we start off at camp. Danny is proud that his plan worked and they got out Brandon. Yeah. Fucking Mag over here. Brandon. Yeah. (laughs) Will, Will Dark Brandon return, though? And it's just Brandon wearing sunglasses. Yeah. And he's got laser eyes or whatever. That'd be cool. Uh, and he's got the support of liberals across the country. Uh, That's right. The numbers are even now. Three to three to three. Pretty good stuff, huh? you love to see yeah, this. Yeah, it creates a lot of interesting uh, voting blocks. Voting blocks are back, baby. Three people on each tribe. Now, that's a big three. Three pe- Okay, wait. Three people on each of the starting three tribes. Now that's a big three. Uh huh. Three cubed, even. Wow! So it's like the it's like the Miami Heat. Cubed. It's like the Miami Heat, or is it Ice Cube that runs the Big Three League? Uh, yes. Yeah. So even there, it works too. Big three, three cubed, nine. There's a lot of levels to this. This is uh, very deep. That's just a little peek behind the curtain of our show, Just Arithmetic, which you can receive for free on patreon.com slash just podcast. And when I say for free, it's after you pay for, the, the For the free fee. with a, uh, a, pay, a required donation. Yeah. I went to the Garfield Park Conservatory this morning. and That's uh, pretty cool. Was Garfield there? Garfield was there. He showed us into all of the spots he likes to nap and all of the spots he likes to eat lasagna. The you better room, have fun you now because Monday's coming. That's what I said when we walked in. He said, don't even tell me about it. I've already got the Sunday scaries. I volunteer here. <laughs> I was like, that seems like an unnecessary comment, but okay. Was, was John there? Yeah, John was there. He was like, Garfield, get back to the car. We need to go home. You don't work here. <laughs> He was like, why do I have this hat on then? <laughs> that would be a great that'd be a great three panel Garfield strip. Garfield hanging out with the hat on a Garfield park. John comes out and says, yeah. Garfield, we have to get back to the car. You don't work here. Garfield says, well, why do I have things? Well, why do I have this hat on? And that's the whole thing. We arrived um, an hour early by accident um, because I forgot that the clock in my parents' car is not the same time as here in Chicagoland. The shy city, Chirac, as we like to call it. Um, so I accidentally... You know, booked- the Midwest is young and restless. <laughs> we, <laughs> I booked the tickets for one fifteen. We arrived at 12.15. I was very confused. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was already like almost 1 o'clock when we were driving over here, but whatever. So we had to wait around for an hour. And in the community room, uh, and there were all these chairs stacked up and a bunch of people sitting in these chairs. And so we were like, oh, we'll sit in these chairs as well. Picked up a couple chairs. And then uh, Garfield came up and was like, hey, actually, 
these chairs are for events only. You can yeah. sit in them, but you need to put them back when you go into the conservatory. Said, also, okay, give Garfield. me a lasagna. He said, you can, keep, you can sit in this chair if you give me lasagna. And luckily, I did bring some because we were going to the Garfield Park Conservatory. And I was hoping he would be there. <laughs> you gave him a little me. gasp when he came up to you. Like, ooh, no, it's the real Garfield. <laughs> Is normal here? You saw him from across the room and you were like, oh, I look terrible. I have to go fresh. <laughs> He can't see me like this. Not Garfield. God, he's going to make fun of me to John. Is there a Mrs. Garfield? Mm. Yeah, normal. Jeez. Read a fucking normal. Normal's a Thomas. boy, idiot. Boys can be wives. <laughs> okay. It's fucking 2023. I did almost say it's 2022. I'm still saying it's 2022 <laughs> in my jokes. Yeah, that's that's up behind the times I said. <laughs> Your first instinct, because of how dated that what I said sounded, was to say it's 2022. Yeah, and it's exactly. not even 2022 anymore. That's how that's how old fashioned I am. It's practically almost 2024. When you think about it, this uh, this is a podcast that believes that boys can be wives. <laughs> boys can be wives. When you think about it, don't let anyone say otherwise. Women can be wives, too. Anybody can be a wife no, these days. No, women cannot be wives. Women are not allowed to be wives. I know I, this, is going to pause, this is going to pose a problem for you in the near future, <laughs> but you, have, you decided that this is the direction we were going to go in, so this is how it is now. I'm sorry. I'm not looking for women to be wives. I'm looking for one woman to be one wife. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay, so the rules apply to everyone but you. That's what yes. I'm hearing. That's the whole point. I kind of want that for me too, so. Yeah. I make the rules. Uh, I want rules that are (laughs) that that are uh, enforced but not binding. Yes. Lauren is annoyed that they didn't split the vote like she had suggested. Story of Lauren's life. Like maybe, I don't know. What's the story of Lauren's life? Yeah, they should have, but I mean, I just mean not Lauren's life, but there's it seems like there's always every season a woman who's like, hey, we should do this with our votes just in case. And the, uh, the big group of the, the majority alliance is like, nah, we'll be fine. Yeah, and everyone's like, yeah, them. uh-huh. And then they just go back to what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. So Jam Jam points out that everybody who wrote his name down has been voted out. He calls himself 00. James Bond, very good stuff from Jam Jam. This was great. I love Jam Jam. Jam Jam is the star of all of the Talking Head segments uh, Easily. this season. Kane goes idol hunting and talks about how in D&D everyone plays against a common enemy and in Survivor the common, the common enemy is big threats. Does he play D&D? Does Kane play D&D? I've never heard... He's never talked about that. Well, that's a good question because that metaphor doesn't really make sense. In, in D&D, your co- the common enemy is not your fellow players. The big well, threat... Well, it depends. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but generally speaking... You know, sometimes there's a guest player that is, like, someone that you have to go up against. Yeah. You know what I like to do? I like to invite um, high school bullies to play D&D with my group of friends, uh, and then we just make their character a big asshole and beat them up. Oh, that's, that's how cool. To, that's how to play D&D. Yeah, that's, I think you could sell a lot of copies of whatever manual you drew up for that one. And it is a manual, because the yeah, game is for yeah. boys only. It's for boys and boy wives. <laughs> Dennis the Manus checks five trees for the idol, then collects firewood. This is his new system. And then eventually everybody goes looking for the idol. There, there you go. Uh, I like Dan. I like Danny's uh, system for this. I thought it was good. It's surprising that that hasn't been discussed in previous seasons. Like how, to, how, to, how they're going to dissuade people from worrying. It's never been yeah. laid out like this, I feel like. Yeah, I think it'd be like even a little extra subtlety goes a long way, but also everyone is looking for the idol right now, so you didn't really need to do that. And if you talk about Got him some firewood, though. Yeah, we did already say this episode was the opposite of epic, so subtlety is uh, important. Jamie is so excited she still has her idol, even though it's fake. This was very funny, seeing, uh, seeing the fake idol thing come up on her 
her name to her nameplate. Yes. Yes. I really, I was kind of hoping that she would get a real one just so that we could have the drama of her having one fake idol and one real idol and how that could potentially shake out. Well, it's a long season. It could still happen. Um, but instead, Heidi found it, and she calls it a bucket list item from Survivor. Uh, did you love? How about you just this? have it? How about you just have it for the the use intended? How about that, huh? They play I Spy, and then they all make fun of how Krylin pronounces the letter S. Um, no one's ever done that to someone that they like before. I don't. I didn't like this. Yeah, it was kind of mean. It was. It was mean. <laughs> This is like the they're, they're pretty mean to Krylin, all things considered. Not us. We're nice to her. That's why we, we gave are. Her such a I kind definitely nickname. have not said mean things about Krylin, and we're not mean in the, the nickname that we gave her. We're actually the only nice Survivor podcast. That's why it's all true. of our YouTube clips are us complaining about the show and the people who are on the show and the people who listen to this podcast. Yeah, and the people I who watch say, the show. I will say, I'm going to say something nice about Carolyn right now. I think she's playing a good game. I do too. I've, I've said from the beginning, I think she's playing a great game. I think the only real point where she wasn't was uh, her turning against Jam Jam for one week f- instead of just talking to him. Well, it had been one week since she saw Jam Jam. Oh, that's uh, they were playing um, at the same restaurant that had the breaking news about LeBron James getting uh, punched in the balls. Uh, they also <laughs> play. It was, a, it was a Creole restaurant, but the music did not reflect that in any way. They played two separate Bare Naked Ladies songs. They played that song, and they played the other one where the music video, they were working at like a fast food place. What was that? Mm. Pinch Me, I believe, is what that song is called. Oh, Deep Cut. Yeah. Well, not, I mean, I think that's one of their biggest hits. Mm, if I had a million dollars. Yeah. That's the, I think that's their biggest thing. They had on the menu, they had a green dress, but not a real green dress. That's That's cruel. That's cruel. Okay. They, uh, they, they talk to Krylin and she talks about her addiction and asks the group who's ever felt like the weird kid and everyone raises their hand. How was, how would you feel about that? That felt like the beginning of a music video for, uh, (laughs) maybe, uh, uh, beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Like that type of song. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, Firework by Katy Perry. Everybody's sitting around in a circle after school. Like, who feels lame? Well, we're all going to be friends, actually. It would be fun for it all to be like pop stars, and they all do. They're like, I was actually uh, a nerd or tomboy or was, was bullied in high school thing that they do on every late night show. Yeah. I was actually like a big dork <laughs> and not like a very traditionally beautiful and talented person. Dorks and dweebs. That's right. Indeed. You know, though, a lot of them were theater kids, so that, that, that does lump them in with that stuff. Uh, I liked when Krylin said, I'd rather they think I'm just having fun rather than strategizing. Doing good. It's good. Good. It's good. It's good for her to be like... Let, I, a very good way to play the game Danny was doing this early is to let everybody think that you're stupid while you're playing smart. Like, because mm-hmm. you can really like make a lot of moves that way. That's my whole personality. I just play dumb. I'm not. I'm actually a smart guy. Yes, I, exactly. I'm not dumb. You keep at all. expectations low and you can exceed them every time. Yep. 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 Exactly. This is how we continue to win. Krylin and Jamie climb the rock that MGM almost died on. This made me very nervous. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Have we learned nothing? <laughs> it's like going to going up to Jeff a, a challenge and be like, actually, can we do the first challenge again? I really liked when that guy got a concussion and had to leave two hours later. Yeah, we should do that again. It would be really funny if um, <laughs> production put an idol up on that rock. They're like... <laughs> Hey, idiot, Succeed where he failed. It. He wasn't good enough to stay in this game. <laughs> That's such a good idea. Uh, Carson has stopped vomiting, although he still feels terrible because he hasn't eaten in days. Mm. What is he, a damn roller coaster tycoon park guest? You click on him and it's like, Carson has stopped vomiting. Carson yeah. wants to go on a ride more exciting than Survivor. Tree Mail tells them that they're going to have to negotiate for rice. This is your favorite part of the new era, isn't it, Thomas? 
this is stupid. Uh, someone in our, what? was it you in our survivor DM or somebody else that was saying that like, they think that they purposely set them up for this. I don't think that was me. Maybe it was, maybe it was Ben, whoever it was. Shout out the survivor DM. Shout you out to our survivor great. DM. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen our download numbers and I think, uh, everybody who listens to this podcast is in that group. Uh, That's so, great. So shout out to all of you. Um, yeah, I, I, I was go- scrolling back through to like try to find when this conversation was happening, but you know, it's going off all the time. So that's going to be hard to do while talking to you at the same time. So I'm going to quit. Speaking of quitting. That's all right then. <laughs> um, Speaking of quitting, I quit doing Latin and Duolingo this week. I got tired. You of got it. bored with it? Yeah. But yeah, I Latin did, is kind of boring. I did recognize a Latin word today when I went to see Garfield. It said urbe on the chest or the seal for the city of Chicago. Urbe means city. It said uh, vocari ad regnum. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's what it says on uh, when Triple H comes out, and it is apparently like gibberish Latin, according oh, to cool. a person with whom I uh, share a house who uh, will not be named otherwise. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you really found your way around that bleep. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was straddling the line there. I wanted, That's about mm-hmm. as much as you can get away with as far like, as the bleeps go. You know, he, you say m- or you say m- uh, that's a that's a guaranteed bleep, but sometimes you can get around it. Yeah. So they, uh, they, oh God, wait, before we get into the immunity challenge, I do need to read this note. Danny points out that you cannot eat for 30 days. So they should all try in the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Is Danny playing stupid <laughs> or? I think that he's played a pretty good strategic game. So maybe he's just dumb in specific ways. <laughs> mm. So this immunity challenge, they have to balance a ball overhead while standing on a beam. Good. Good yeah, challenge. that's the kind of, that's what we like. I like when they've got the little like lint roller thing that they have to balance it with. Yeah, this week's challenge is you have to roll as much lint off of your own body. They should have one where it's like a rolling pin and you have to stay balanced while rolling out uh, dough for what will become the reward, which will be some sort of pastry. They should. Ooh, that's a good idea. They should do one where it's a bowling pin or 10 and then they get a bowling ball and they do bowling you yeah that's pretty cool i, I would be rules. on board for that first to 300 wins that's how bowling works right yes first to three yeah first to 300 wins traditional bowling rules that's how that's how um basketball games are going to end in my new league too first to 300 wins because you know they lo- fucking love shooting threes now 127 to 129 is the final score, and it's not even overtime. Okay. You Crazy. Want to, you want to high scores? Okay, we're going to 300. And there's three teams now. Two balls. Three balls. One of them is made of gold. I think it was a genius idea, actually. It's a really good idea. And you know what? If you don't like it, then they'll add more balls. So I hope you're <laughs> happy. This is on you, audience. Uh, you better like it or else it can get worse. <laughs> can it get better? Yeah, it could. That's what I'm fucking trying to do. Carson and Lauren agree to sit out, but no one else does until Jeff goads them into agreeing to not vote for the sit outs. Kane and eventually Heidi all agree to sit out. This is great because, you know, they're not they basically gave themselves immunity by sitting out and getting rice for the tribe like Angelina did. Remember when it was just just one person and it was Angelina who had to sit out? How far we've yeah. gone? She had a PhD in uh, rice yeah. negotiations. What's your from, other, from uh, Princeton or Yale or whatever? What's your other go-to bit with the rice negotiation every season? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much just that one. I guess the Price is Rice is the other one. No, no, they, they like to play the the rice. What? You always like to say they like to play the rice card. <laughs> yeah. No, th- yeah, that okay, you're right. That was <laughs> That was that was the other part of that YouTube poop. <laughs> was the when 
Angelina said someone was playing the race card and they put the word rice in instead. Yeah, that's good. That's really good stuff. Oh, what a great. I got to watch that again. That's great. Please send that to me. Um, so it's raining really hard. Uh, fucking. Okay, so we went to brunch this morning with my parents. It rained on the walk over there. Sunny the entire time we're eating brunch. Raining on the way home. Isn't that some bullshit? Terrible. What is this? Am I on Survivor and I'm on Adam Silver's Survivor? Adam Survivor. Adam Survivor, thank you. Comes down to Franny May and Dennis the Manis. Forgot we were calling her Franny May last week. Uh, Franny May, good, good title. Good nickname. Yep. Named, almost named after the student loan company or chocolates. Yeah. Uh, then Jeff yells at them, take control of it. Your warriors out there. I, well, just, come on, Jeff, <laughs> chill out. Yeah. Calm down, buddy. Uh, Franny wins. Very exciting stuff. We love Franny. Yeah. But, Franny is very good at this specific type of challenge. My mom really likes Franny too. She thinks that she's going to win. And I, she seems like a fan favorite. If they ever do fans versus favorites again, or all stars, or heroes versus villains, I think Franny will probably be there. Or heroes versus healers versus hustlers. Exactly. She, could, uh, she does like yoga, right? It would make sense that she has good balance. You expect me to know anything about these people out after week one? Well, she does like mindfulness stuff. Weren't they meditating at one point? It stands to reason that she would well, maybe do yoga. Um, that was a Soka thing, I think, not just a Franny thing. I think they all. Well, that, like her job, like I think part of her job is doing like mindfulness stuff. Hmm. Should we look it up? Yes, I am right. So we should look it up. <laughs> okay. I um, don't pay attention to anything ever. She's only 23 I don't years either, old, so. she's from St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah, and that's why nobody likes her. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. She's actually the opposite. Sometimes everybody likes you when you're 23. 1999, she was <laughs> born. I saw the, the, okay, so on the Survivor Wiki main page, they have uh, people grayed out that have been eliminated, and then it has a first name, and then it says the word competing, and I thought it was their last names for a second, so I just saw... <laughs> Franny competing, Danny competing, <laughs> Carolyn competing. And I was like, wow, this is a talented family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is family feud, survivor family feud, the competing tribe. Uh, She's a research coordinator. Yeah, I was just about to say research coordinator. Is that a uh, yoga? Instructor? I work at a center for mindfulness and compassion, and I have a daily practice in yoga and mindfulness meditation. Hmm. Guess who's right? It's me. Okay, but you actually said that her occupation was a yoga. She person. says, I work at a center. She says, I work. She used the words, I work at mm. a center for mindfulness and compassion. That is an occupation. Mm. But it's not. She works at, okay, where, where did you find this? What is something we would never know from looking at you? What is something we would never know from looking at you? I work at a center for mindfulness hmm. and compassion. <laughs> Interesting. And, wait, wait, wait. And I have a daily practice in yoga and mindfulness meditation. That is separate from her employment. She the, works, the, the word she works, mindful, mm, yeah, mm, mindfulness mm, and compassion. Mm, yeah, the mm. mindfulness meditation has nothing to do with it. I'm sure. I here's here's what and I asked. I said that she worked in mindfulness stuff, which she also said. What are you talking but she's about? She's researching. She's researching. She's coordinating the <laughs> she's research. research. She's doing mindfulness research mm. and yoga research. Yoga research. What is she a research yoga coordinator research. for yoga play? <laughs> Uh, pretty good joke. The listener, the listeners all know that I'm correct, and they're all applauding. Okay. And then whenever you say something uh, to try and deflect it, they're all booing and spitting at their uh, their iPhones or whatever. <laughs> they're they're removing their earbuds and throwing them into the nearest body of water because they don't want to hear any more of your lies. Okay. They return to camp and eat rice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's very excited about the rice. Was that a lie? Get, w fish your headphones out of the river, friends. Yeah, it they is can't I hear us right now. Again. <laughs> well, they can probably play it off their phone still. Yeah. Yeah, they're just going to annoy everybody on the bus now. Kane doesn't trust the Danny's Scout's Honor. Oh, that's right. He said, Scout's Honor, I won't vote for you. Hmm. 
He was right not to trust that. I don't know why mm-hmm. you would ever trust anyone saying that on Survivor. <laughs> Jam Jam has energy to play now. They target Kane, but also want to flush Jamie's idol. Jamie's very real idol. That's very real and very good, and it's going to be really helpful one day. Right? Yeah, it's real. It's real and good. Why wouldn't it be real? Powerful. Heidi wants to take out Kane because he's more of a strategist than the girls, and he's a big guy, so he can do the challenges. Hey, flawless logic there, I think. Yeah, got to get the big fella out. The big red machine. Yeah, he's from hell, actually. And he's fucking playing D&D, and he is from Satan's hometown, hell. Yeah, devil Hmm. and devil is what that stands for. Devil and devil? Yeah. Yeah. Satanic panic. Or devil and maybe devil and Dracula, the second most evil person behind the devil. Holy shit. Yes. That's so scary. That's like so much. Dracula the or I've Devil heard, Jr., as he is often called. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they uh, get worried about the knowledge's power. Sure. Was there a knowledge's power already on this season or. No, I think that they just know about it from previous seasons. Sure. Kane is quite confident he has Tika on his side. Kane, Uh buddy, you know not to say that. Can't be saying that. Jamie is giving Kane her fake idol, but doesn't know it's fake. (laughs) Franny recognizes that Tika 3 is playing the middle, but Danny doesn't want to target them and calls it illogical. That's... Not Franny was actually right. <laughs> she's she's on to the, she's she's on to them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all that happened in the episode before Tribal Council. But before we, of course, talk about Tribal Council, we do need to discuss these wildlife shots. <laughs> We had snake, we had iguana, and we had the barking imperial pigeon. Have you heard of these guys? You heard about this? You know about them? No, I haven't. I saw a lot of pigeons in New York, but none of them were barking. No. They just were yeah, not afraid of me in any way. Time, and he's like, oh, I've seen pigeons before. Yeah, I've been around pigeons, okay? I've been around pigeons, too. I actually live with pigeons. Pigeons are my roommates. I have seven. I'm not interested. Look, P-mates. if they're not New York pigeons, they're not real pigeons. Okay, wow. the water's different over there. Wow, because they drink different water out of their disgusting pothole puddles. You think they're bigger and stronger pigeons than us? Yeah, they I, are. They are. Th- th- I will say that the New York pigeons are the uh, the most like. Uh, I'd, friendly's not the right word. They're just the least afraid of people of any pigeons that I've encountered, which is kind of it. I I find it endearing. I like pigeons. I did have a stare down with a pigeon uh, when I first lived in Chicago, and I was like, this a very confident pigeon. Don't appreciate it. Well, they know we're not going to do anything to them, which, like, yeah, I don't want to kill the pigeon, so I, it's cool. I felt like I was going to have to fight this pigeon, though. No, the pigeon's not going to fight you. You didn't see this pigeon. I was a particularly aggressive pigeon. It was big and fat, both, and it was staring me at me directly in my eyes, like, a foot and a half away. Wow. It was intentional. He, like, saw me. He's asserting its dominance. Yeah. Now I can't return to Lakeview. Haven't been back since. That's mm-hmm. the pigeon's territory. <laughs> These are gray birds that are a little more than a foot tall. They've got a great... They've got a black bill and purple and red eyes... They can be found on most medium and large islands in Fiji, eating large fruits. They get their name from the loud barking sound they use in their call. They lay one egg a year and leave it in a nest made of twigs that Wikipedia calls insubstantial. Oh, okay. That's mean. (laughs) Yeah. Judgy. They have been victims of human hunting, seeing a slight decrease in their population. So how do you think these rank on the IUCN Red List? And did you know they have an IUCN Red List for plants as well? Interesting. I guess there are endangered plants. It's the same thing. I learned that at the uh, 
conservatory this morning from our friend Garfield with a cat. Uh, and I took a picture of it, and I almost sent it to you, and I was like, I don't think Thomas needs this photo. I I'm glad, I'm glad that you didn't. Did you see, I posted it on my Instagram story, but there was a graphic for uh, the alligator, which I believe are seasonal. There weren't any uh, alligators while uh, while we were there. But um, <laughs> that, let me find the exact description of it. I'll, I'll go to that picture because it is very funny. Okay, yeah, it's American Alligator. The first thing that it says after the description is, why are they just lying there? <laughs> And it shows that there's an illustration of a uh, an alligator that is, like, peacefully sleeping and looks like he's smiling. And I was like, "Daw, That's so great. They're warming up. Instead of generating their own heat, alligators absorb heat from the sun. Once warm, they can move quickly and better eat and digest their prey. Yeah, I do that, too. I absorb heat from the sun. It's Same here. Special. Alligators aren't special. Uh, where do you think these guys rank? The birds, the pigeons that you Least so concern. Much? Least concern is correct. They're fucking pigeons. You can't kill them. They're pigeons. Yeah, they're <laughs> everywhere. You can't get rid of them. I love that there's just different types of pigeons everywhere. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no getting away from them. Doves, also pigeons. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, at Travel Council, Matt is super happy to see that Franny has won immunity yet again. They cut to Matt, and then Franny and both of them smile, and then Brandon, and then they cut to Lauren, and they both smile as well. Is this is this potentially the final two, Franny and Lauren? Could could be. And then they each have their representative on the jury. That, that's kind of fun I, uh, to think about. It's fun to think about, certainly, and it's not impossible to happen. Um, there were two medevacs, so I feel like when there are unexpected medevacs, is when they usually do final two. I don't know. He was talking about it on his podcast this week about when, I, when they decided to do final two versus final three. He was like, if there's something out of our control, then we'll do a final two. Or something, if something forces a final two. And it's like, you produce the show. <laughs> you, can, you can decide any time. Um, yeah, that's, it's up to you. You have the power here. But it just, it kind of felt like they were hinting, he was hinting at it. This, it might, I'm just saying, it might happen. I'm just, here's my hot take. Something might happen this season. And if it does, so what? Uh, I really liked when Jeff said, I heard Danny say Scout's Otter, and Danny immediately said, I'm not a scout. Yep. That <laughs> <There's> was great. <laughs> like Danny. Danny, uh, a pleasure to have in class this season, is indeed. what I will say. He, like, why would you admit that before votes? <laughs> Like, just fun. I, th- I think he knew that no one actually believed him. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He's just having fun out there. Jeff says every season of Survivor is different because every cast is different people. Like, technically, you're right. <laughs> I've never thought about the fact that every cast is different people. Some casts are not all. Th- some casts aren't different yeah, people, actually, though, Jeff. Yeah, sometimes the casts come back for future seasons. Did you know this? Yeah, most of the cast are different people. Yeah, but sometimes they're not. Um, every, oh, we already said that. Jeff says, wow, when Kryolin told him that the rice reinvigorated them. Jeff, you're not stupid. You're, you know, like, it's food. You know how food works, right? Yeah, come on now. We're, we're sure Jeff is playing the rice card. How so? It's, it's just fun to say. Oh, it is a fun thing to say, that's for sure. Uh, Jeff asks Kane if he'd rather play on a quiet or a chaotic season. People were freaking out about this line because he was subtweeting season 43, apparently. Ah, okay. Because it was a quiet season, I guess. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess. I mean... We got we got Grimace to win a season, so that's fun, I guess. Yeah, that part wasn't so good, but the rest of the season I thought was pretty good. What happened in season forty three? It's a good question. I was not prepared for this one. <laughs> Wait, follow up question. What happened in season forty two? Uh, Marianne won. Yep. Everyone was like, uh, everyone loved Mike until 
the precise moment that it became time for the jury, and then they were like, you're the worst person yeah, fuck you, I've Mike, ever actually. met in my entire life. Yeah, you're not Michael Jordan. Get the fuck out of here trying to take that name. Um, what happened in season 41? Uh, 41... 41 was the first season back. The new um, era. Who, won, who 41 that season? That's mm. the real question here. Because mm-hmm. 40 was Tony. Okay, spoilers. I didn't ask that question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to anyone that hasn't watched uh, Winners at War yet. Um, oh, man. If you give me like one or two people, I'll remember. But I'm, I'm blanking for some reason. Um... This season was infamous for um, one of the contestants yelling at Jeff so bad that he decided to not bring that twist back. Hmm. And that person, and that twist was the hourglass. Oh, the, um, oh, uh, what's her name? Won that one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Your favorite. Mm -hmm. What's her name? What is her name? I know, your favorite. I should know. I thought I thought she played a good season. Uh, What's her name? Yeah, that season was good. That season had uh, that had Chan and Danny, and uh, you know all 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 those all our favorites were Card. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, is it Effie? Evie. Evie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Effie's um, a wrestler. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, why does that name sound familiar, though? Effie's a really cool independent wrestler who uh, is a cool guy, and everybody loves him, actually. Um, Dan- oh, Erica, yeah. yeah. Erica Erica was the was the winner. Uh, follow-up question. Did you look it up? I might have. I kept thinking Olivia, and I was like, I know that's not her name. <laughs> no, Olivia was Horacio's partner on the last season of The Challenge. I understand why you thinking of her all the time though because she busted her face open that one time remember fucked up oh thomas i know we're not doing challenge chunk anymore but here's a quick challenge chunk um remember how you're always talking about how the challenges are um fucking too dangerous (laughs) yes did something very dangerous happen well i mean everybody's okay but they did have to um drive a go-kart out the back of a semi like through a a wall of cement or something or clay i don't know exactly what it was made out of but uh they had to go so fast that the uh the go-kart golf car whatever it was uh for a couple people flipped multiple times after they finished Uh uh-oh yeah um so that was funny I mean, nobody got seriously injured, so that's good, but it was uh, definitely nerve-wracking. Kryolin talks about how uh, she doesn't know what's the real plan, and then a live tribal commences. You were just talking about how you missed uh, these yeah, so much. Yeah, uh, careful what you wish for. That's, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I thought I maybe wanted this, but I don't think I actually do. I think it was worth it uh, because of when Jam Jam said, I'd like some subtitles to know what's going on, and then they put the subtitles up as he was saying that line. (laughs) That's very funny. That's very good editing. Great job, editors, uh, this week. Between that and the the thing with Jamie in that talking head where she's freaking out about her idol, good shit. Yes, good stuff. Uh, So Danny gets one vote, Jamie gets one vote, Heidi gets three votes, and Kane, who played D&D, gets five votes he's gonna have to re-roll his character well i was gonna say uh, he actually isn't out yet because he actually has three death saving throws first oh of course yeah you hit some saving throws you'll be right back in come on kane uh i did like when he left he goes enjoy your rice you bitches (laughs) yep very funny very good line and then they all laughed but honestly that was really shitty of them yeah okay so we have two people left who have been voted correctly 100% of the time. Zero people left who have voted 0% correct. And that was Kane. He continued to vote incorrectly, even as he left. He can't vote it is himself. funny to make the merge and, like, a decent chunk in there and never vote correctly. Mm-hmm. So who remains at 100%, do you think? I'll give you a hint. They're both on the same starting tribe. 
Uh, I'm going to say... Their names end... Their names are with the same number of syllables, and their names end in the same sound. Okay, uh, is it Franny? No. No? No, it's the other ones that end in that sound. And we're on her um, team. Is it, is it Carolyn? Nope. Is it, is it Heidi? Mm-hmm. And the other one? Who else was on the tribe with Heidi and Franny, and also ends with an E? Is it Danny? Danny, Heidi, from Soka. Both have 100% of the vote correct still. Jam Jam's got 75% correct. Franny and Carson and Kryolin have voted correctly two-thirds of the time. Jamie has voted correctly half the time. Although she did put two votes on Heidi this time. Uh, so she's actually at two of five votes, if you want to be specific. And Lauren has voted correctly at 25% of the time. Not great. Not great for Lauren. Are you glad you didn't pick her at the merge? Uh, yes. Although, I don't know, she might make it to the... She might be a goat for somebody at Final mm. Tribal. That's true. I don't know, she doesn't give off, like, goat energy. No, I think I she's... Outside really of voting, does. I think she's played decently well. She's got a... She has a challenge win, so that definitely helps. That's true. Um... I don't know who the goat would be this season. Jamie, I guess. Yeah, Jamie hasn't really done much on her own at this point. Um, I would say Jamie or. Yeah, everybody else. I mean, I think people maybe view Carol in that way. Yeah, I think. And maybe they view Carson that way. But like Carolyn and Carson both would have a very good case. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I think people probably view Heidi in that same way. Too, just because, like her age and gender, she's been making moves though. But she has been playing a really good game, so I don't know if that would be a fair summation of her. Um, okay, so you got a point for Dennis, the man is surviving. I got a point for Jamie surviving. Last week you had twenty five points. I had twenty eight points. Um, you said Krylin would win pizza. It didn't happen. You said Danny would win. Yeah, there was a, this is no no reward happen. again. I know shit sucks now. Uh, you said Lauren would be voted out. She was not. It was the other member of the Ratatouille tribe. Well, it's much harder to remember when it's not directly in front of your face what we called that tribe. It's true. Uh, I was at 20. So you're now at 26 points. Um, I said Jamie would survive. I said Jam Jam would win chocolates. Didn't happen. I said Franny would win immunity. Came down to Franny Correct. and Danny. And for anyone, yes, again. So I got a point for that as well. I said Carson, we voted out. Didn't get a point for that. You said Panera. I said Charmin. Still nothing. Do they not want to be sponsored anymore? Or? Yeah, come on. They're sponsored by Rice, apparently. <laughs> They're sponsored by Uncle Ben. Not from Spider-Man. The other one. Yeah. Also, it's not called that anymore. <laughs> it's not called Uncle Ben's anymore? No, it was fucking racist. They got rid of it. Oh, I thought they just got rid of the mascot. Maybe it's still... I don't think it's called Uncle Ben's anymore, but maybe I'm wrong. Mm, if they were smart, they would say Uncle Ben's Spider-Man rice. It's just called Ben's Original now. Okay. What, uh, what are they sponsored by? Ben's Original rice? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, who do you think will win the next batch of Ben's Original rice or Ben's Original whatever the reward might be? Uh, what might, what might the reward be? What might the reward be? If they even do one, um, Tell me about it. I'm going to say they're going to get a massage. Ooh, that'd be nice. I'm going to say in honor of, or I'll say spa day. I'll just say spa day. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say in honor of, um, the beverage I'm drinking right now, I'm going to say beer. Who do you think will win this beverage or reward in general? For Mr. Reward himself, Jeff. Probst. Sure, I'll, I'll say uh, I'll say Jam Jam is going to win win reward. Mm. I will say who's really close with everybody. I guess Carson's really close with everybody. Um, but no, I don't think it's going to be him. I think it will be Franny. 
Okay. Who will win immunity challenge? I'm going to say Danny's finally going to win one. Uh, has he won one yet? He has not won one yet. Yeah, not he's gotten very close. At least. Yeah, he's gotten close the two times for any one, I think. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Lauren. I think it'd be fun to see them swap off every other challenge. Sure. Who's getting voted out? I'm going to say Heidi. Mm. I'm going to stick to my guns and say Carson. It's 3-3-2. Three, three, he now. hasn't had any votes cast against him yet, so. Well, he's about to. Three people left from Soka, three people left from Tika, th- two people left from Ratutui. And did you notice it's all boys on the jury? What's that about? All boys and boy wives. Boy wives jury. I, I, I'm very worried that we keep saying boy wives and it's... Um, um, rude to trans people. Is it a rude thing to say? No, I don't. I don't think it is. Okay. I don't. I don't know that I've ever seen that term. And the only thing that boy wife or boy wives makes me think of is when people have like boy mom in their bio or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Girl dad. Um. Oh, did you watch Jury Duty? Uh, no. It's very funny. Watch the whole thing. Thomas, I did just DM you a Pope's quiz. So nasty that it's probably somewhat of a travesty having me. Then he told the people you can call me your majesty. Ooh, this is fantastic news. This one is called Answer Eight Questions and we'll reveal which survivor contestant you are. This is by community contributor Thayer Murphy. Thank you, Thayer Murphy. Thank you, Thayer Murphy. Obviously approved and edited by the BuzzFeed community team. Oh, Thayer Murphy has 8,391 points. Oh, 8,390 points. 91 after we take this quiz. Which animal are you? Dolphin, panda, cat, chicken. Oh. Cat. None of those are appealing. I guess panda. Uh, would you eat a baby goat? Hell yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but I can't do that. I'll just win at the food challenge. Hell no, I would never do that. I'll just win at the food challenge. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'm hungry. And goat, that's good meat. <laughs> I Goat is good meat. I actually do like goat. Uh, which job would you like the most? Doctor, athlete, police officer, teacher? Uh, athlete. Mm. Not police officer. Uh, not doctor, and I guess teacher. People tell me I'd be a good teacher. I say, no, thank you. How many times would you play Survivor? I'd try once. I'd play again if I lost, again and again until I won, again and again until I lost. Again and again until I lost. Yeah, obviously. It's the only good answer. What would be your role at camp? Fishing, cooking, gathering, leading? I'd be leading. <laughs> I would just be standing around. <laughs> Um, honestly, none of these sound great. I guess leading. I'm not going to cook. I don't know how to do anything. Who do you vote out first? And all of the photos are of Jeff Probes. How did they know? It's the same photo of him four (laughs) times stuffing a torch out. What was the point of this? The physical threat, the annoying one, the social threat, the weakest link. Goodbye. I mean, first, I'd say probably the weakest link, because we got to do better in challenges. I mean, that does make sense. Um, I'm going to say the annoying one, though, hoping that it's not me. Would you play like a hero or a villain? I'm too nice to be a villain. I'm the villain you think is your friend. I'll lie, cheat, and steal to win. I'll try to be a hero, but villains usually get farther. I'll try to be a hero, but villains usually get farther. I'm the villain you think is your friend. Which challenge would you win? Puzzle, foot race, obstacle course, endurance. 
Well, if they let me uh, 3D print that tree puzzle, mm. then yeah, maybe I'd do that. Yeah, I think they do now. Uh, uh, I'll say endurance. I'm going to say obstacle course. Ugh. Okay, ready? Let me, I'll read this to you, and you try to guess who I am. Bow down, bitches. You're smart as a fox, athletic as a drunk panda, and very manipulative. You are the queen are you everyone Sandra? loves. Yes, I'm Sandra Diaz Twine. Read me yours. You're a legendary competitor, and you dominate anything physical, but sometimes you lack the social game to back up that incredible athleticism. Hmm. Who do you think that is? Um, uh, Col- Colby? No, Ozzy. Which is why I went, ew. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Sure, I guess. Um, was Ozzy not a good social player? I thought everybody loved Ozzy. I mean, he, he never really got that far. Okay, Thomas. Sure. Uh, what's your Twitter? Everyone's favorite website, Elon Musk, is running things now, and it's really good, and everybody can do Yeah, I haven't gotten that Blue Sky invite yet, so Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow me at TomNotTom. You can follow the show at DYWSLN on Twitter. On Instagram, it's the only Survivor podcast. Don't worry about that one. We don't do that one anymore. We're on YouTube now. YouTube.com slash the only We're all about being on YouTube now. We're We're YouTubers. We're YouTubers now. Uh, We're only... Move over, Paul Brothers. There is a new group of two men in town, and they're here to talk about Survivor. Uh, It's the only fun Survivor podcast on YouTube. Um, We've got... I'm I'm slowly uploading our archives, um, and we're up to something. I think Palau was the last one I was uploading. So, uh, if you want to go back and listen to any old seasons, it's, gonna, it's a lot easier to do that now. As long as it's only from the last couple of years, because um, that's all I've uploaded so far. Okay, so don't worry about it. Survivor 44, Survivor Panama, Survivor 43, Survivor Guatemala, Survivor 42. Oh, that's simulated seasons. We also have the simulated seasons up there. A lot of good ones. Um... You listen to any of these back, Thomas? I haven't listened to them. I mean, I live them, so. Yeah, true. You've been on Survivor. I've been on Survivor. And in the future, we will both win Survivor. Correct. Uh, that is, of course, if people don't subscribe to our Patreon. Thomas, what's, um, what's a good show on Patreon.com slash Just Podcast for us to shout out? But well, every so often you got to go back to your roots. So I think just Joey is what I would like to plug. I love that show. That's the show, of course, where we just talk about Joey Tribbiani from the show Joey. Was he from something else? No, I, I think uh, I think that's the only iteration of the character. That's good. We miss you, Joey. Can't wait to see you come back. Do you want to thank the fans? Would love to thank the listeners. Thank you for listening. Uh, okay, uh, and what would you what would you have them write on Apple reviews? Should they write anything on Apple reviews? Well, Jake, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite podcast. I like it better than all of the other podcasts. I give it a big thumbs up. Spotify does not allow me to leave mm-hmm. reviews, but if I could, I would say I look forward to seeing this in my Spotify Wrapped. Ooh, and um, we can leave comments on the YouTube too. If you want to leave comment. Uh, make sure, sure it's appropriate. We're going to flag all of the ones that are inappropriate and send yeah. them to YouTube. We will be curating these extensively. Uh, we can switch it up a little bit for the YouTube comments. How about just, haha, very funny. Yeah. And then maybe like a smiley face. Yeah, like an old school smiley face too. Not one of these newfangled emojis. I want a colon and a close parentheses. Yeah, if you can do the one with the nose. You're allowed yeah. to do that. If you want to be or like a winking nose, smiley yeah. face, you can do a winking smiley face. You can do semicolon. Winking smiley face. It's gonna make me not trust. Haha, ha, very funny though. And say if you hit us with an eight D, so help me God. Oh no, thank you. Your comment will be removed. Or an X D. What is this? The yeah, Disney Channel. No. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want any of that shit on our YouTube. We're not seen. We're fucking cool indie kids from two thousand three. That's right. Got our hands in our pockets. Yeah. Our pants are listening to animal. 
Wait, what year did we? You say we were from? Uh, I said 2003, which I realized was a few years too early, but you know it came out of my mouth. So now we have I to stick still with listening. It. Yeah, we're not. We're we got our hands in our pockets. We're listening to LCD sound system. That's right. Come on. They will know us by the trail of the dead. Found that one. Yeah, on the yeah. We're listening to, uh, to the earlier Animal Collective albums. Mm-hmm. Uh, the management. Maybe you've heard of them. They didn't exist yet, but we already knew about them. Yeah, we did know about them before they were MGMT. Um, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> she was still doing, like, the Christian music or whatever. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> what we really we, we knew about it. Um, B- Billie Jean. <laughs> yeah, uh, we were listening to Billie Jean, and we were uh, walking around with our hands in our pockets, yeah. and the floor was lighting up. Yeah. And we were, you know, with every step that we took, and we were smoking us American spirits. Yes, I actually smoked some American spirits yesterday. Wow, it's the first time real, in a while that I had had a cigarette. Real New York fellow over here. That's right. Yeah, classic New York <laughs> for a New York slice of <laughs> uh, of uh, of cigarette. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to smoke a American spirits cigarette this summer, uh, Thomas. It is. Almost May, which is when summer's right around the corner, you know. You know this? I do know. Yeah, well, in that case, I hope you have a great summer. Deuces. a bit we used to go on all the time where we would pretend to be two guys ready to fight in a bar and we would say you want to take this outside uh, yes, and the I, other one would say we're on our outside was let's there a take follow- this de- was- yeah let's take this dead let's take this dead if that's what it was <laughs> take this outside we are outside and it was like well okay then I guess the next thing is to take this dead <laughs> not too dead let's no take well, dead. let's take this dead that's really good. Oh man, what a, we were we were some funny kids. That's we were for sure. some funny fucking guys back in the day. Kids uh. truly d- did say the darndest things, and we were them. We were them. We were the kids. Not that. Not today. Not anymore. That not would be kidding. a fun poem to write. Just like. <laughs> uh, if anyone wants to write a poem where, like, the last lines, kids do say the darndest things. And, and we indeed. were that. And they were us. <laughs> and they were us. Kids starring us. I don't know if you heard that song before. I don't know if you were ever on a college campus in the years <laughs> 2009 to 2012, but yeah. It's a song called Kids by MGMT. I don't know if you've heard of it before. Oh, oh you mean management? My management, yes. Yeah. Do you want to hear a really good joke that my mom made this week that she was so proud of? I would love to hear it. That she she retold it to us when they came down this weekend. They were having a garage sale, and they had a picture of uh, Pope John Paul, the first one. Uh, and she was talking to this neighbor, and the neighbor whose wife had bought the Pope painting or photo, I don't know exactly, was like, oh yeah, I remember him. What was his name? And my mom said, oh, Pope John Paul Ringo. And they both laugh so <laughs> yeah, hard. That's a good joke. I that's like a that. Good joke. Smarten up, probes. <laughs>